Hello, in this video I will guide you in the usage of my Pinterest account unlocker plugin. And in this video I will show you exactly how to use it and how you can profit from its usage at maximum. So first of all you have to enter your Pinterest username and Pinterest password. Afterwards, save settings to store the username and password. Now we can go ahead and make changes to each pin that this user that we connected in the plugin has created so far. So this plugin is very useful if your account was banned for some reason and all your links are not working anymore. Uh, using this plugin you can edit automatically each link and change its domain to another domain that is unbanned yet. Also this plugin can be used to edit a uh, description of uh, each pin that you created and replace content that is already in it with another content that you wish to change. Okay, so you can run this plugin manually by clicking the Relink Now button. If we click this button, uh, you will see that <coughs> there are also some settings fields. Replace this string from uh, the link and from description. We have these links right now. As you can see, the string Taumiel appears on each uh, pin. Let's refresh the page to be sure that yeah, it's Taumiel. So let's say I want to replace Taumiel from pin URLs and let's say I want to change it to Pinterest plugin. I have also some more options where to make the replacement, the URL and description, URL or only description. Maximum number of pins to edit at once. You can set the maximum number for the pins this plugin will edit. You can enable case insensitive search and replace. This will enable to replace also uh, uppercase letters with lowercase and not be and not search for case sensitiveness and some additional plugin options minimum timeout between requests maximum timeout between requests you can set a range of timeouts in milliseconds uh, in which the plugin will wait between each request to uh, make sure that Pinterest will not ban the IP of your server. So if you want to increase these timeouts, you can do so. Default is 1000 and 2000. So the plugin will wait one to two seconds to between requests. Note that this is a millisecond. Custom user agent for requests. You can add a custom user agent. You can use a web proxy with proxy authentication. Logging, detailed logging, automatically logs after a period of time and timeout for plugin running. If the plugin takes more than this amount of seconds, it will be stopped. Logging can be viewed here. Here you will see a short server info. You can restore plugin default settings and you will see here the activity log of the plugin. Here only errors should be logged, so it's okay to be empty. So now let's go ahead and click Relink Now. You have unsafe changes. Okay, let's save settings. Be sure that always save settings before clicking the Relink Now button. Are you sure? Okay, and the relinking started. It is running right now. Oh, sorry, now I see that I... Uh, misspell this so save settings and relink now before it did not find any results because i misspelled the word that uh, the 
links are contained so now it will work and it will do its magic by replacing Taumiel with uh, Pinterest plugin so it is done it made the changes <clears throat> if we refresh the Pinterest page we will see that each pin got its link updated okay now let's also check on description let's say I want to replace this word in the descriptions of the uh, pins with this uh, word don't forget to select pin description or URL in description it is the same <coughs> save settings and click relink now it is working and it's done so if we check on the pins right now refresh it check it again click edit and you have the new description and that's it so this is a very handy plugin to have and it will allow you to change link and description for each pin that you have on your blog so uh, i hope this plugin will help you and i hope you will get the max out of it so this is all until next time bye bye